Hey everybody, Hectoplasm here, streaming live, and we're going into Interchange, working on a couple of different tasks running in the background, including Decon, which requires a 3M uh, armor and a gas mask. And also, um, the main one is the uh, database part two. And so for that, I need to get into the mall at the Oli location. So I want to come in at the south west corner. I'll head up the escalator, make a sharp right, and there's a logistics office. You need to have the logistics office key. And the first time I played before the wipe, I um, found the key. And there's guides on where to look for it. Uh, this time around, I just bought it. Keep the key in your container. You don't have to worry about losing it. I decided to go ahead and add a suppressor to this, so I paid for that. I'm using primarily found equipment, and that should reduce my gear fear. It does reduce it a little bit, but gear fear is still very real. You know, you got nice gear, you don't want to lose it. It's already shooting going on. It's always uh, frustrating when you stop to take a scan because you want to look left and right to see where the targets are, but if someone's sniping, that gives them a perfect opportunity to get a beat on you. So it's a good chance to die. Okay, hey, good day to die. And I don't really need the loot, but like, just can't pass it up. Had so many times when I've died of dehydration. Only one time I was intentionally dehydrating for a task and I forgot to bring water. What a goofball mistake that was. Um, typically the dehydration for me is because I get shot in the stomach and bleed out and dehydrate. Throw flags. So I'm not interested in searching the body as much as I am in getting the... I was planning on going in through that door over there, but... Uh, can't remember. Is this it? Yep. Yeah. And there's supposed to be a shelf on the wall. Right there. So that is the main, that is what we're here for. Um, I'm out of frags. check and see if there's anything else in here while I'm here and then I just need to get out of here 
All right, so. If I knew the map better, I would go through. I don't know, I hear shooting. So for Amricon, I just need to get to the um, south east corner. So basically, if I can go out the other side of Oli. goes out. Yeah, I don't think so. side of the map and go out the other side if I can. So that's where I'm headed. Started out with a 73 round drum. loading docks. Pretty sure I go up here and it's on the right. There has been car batteries inside this room. So if I can have room for the car battery that would be good. There's a task called uh, car repair. Somebody just right inside there. I'm hoping they're to the left, not to the right. That shooting was pretty loud. That's where the car batteries are sometimes. So there is a truck loading dock out here. sure there's nobody hiding back here. Okay. I do hear shooting out there. Sounds like it's on the northern bit of the loading dock. So if I can move along quietly enough to not get noticed, and I can get out of here and make sure I got enough stamina. Let's see, that guy did shoot me. was his stun grenade, I guess, that gave me that blurred bit of vision, but my health is at full, so that's good.
bodies are sometimes bait. It'd be kind of fun in the game if you could drag a body and set it out in the open, but you know, so far you can't. So my Amricon exit is to the right. I basically need to go down the ramp and straight. Just need to not get shot up. There's almost always scavs hanging around this corner. Really want to search that body, but I have to remember I've got the, uh, the, the cargo information and my mission is to get it out. I need to extract. mission now is to survive. Forget about the loot and survive. searching. And because I'm wearing the respirator and that cheap 3M armor, that scav kill counted towards the decon task as well. Sometimes people will camp here, so beware. It's a pretty cheesy move because it's not a sniper move, but you know, it's a it's good ambush, you know. I mean, for real life, it's good. For Tarkov, for the Tarkov life, it's good to camp. To having patience in camping is is hard. I mean, when a camper gets me, my hat's off to him. I don't like it, you know. I never like to die. I'd rather join up with them and be buddies and help take out all the scabs. You know, I'd rather not take out any PMCs, but they did make a couple of missions where you have to. So we got the one scav and we got the cargo manifest, you know, so that was the important thing. We achieved the goal. So nice database part two completion. One raid. go in here we'll take a look at um, database completed and see the cargo infos here now if um, you were doing database one for instance and you decided to get one manifest and then go back in to get the others you could actually transfer that and this makes it um, stash off raid that way you can actually go in get the um, get the cargo manifest and uh, database one there's three um, manifests I forgot to mention this so you can uh, move it to off raid stash and then go in that way if you die you don't lose the one or two cargo manifests and then when you're ready to um, turn it in then you just transfer it back and so that's just under um, just in character under tasks you can transfer the task items back and forth and then to complete the mission, just go to trading, tasks, database two, turn in. Sixty nine thousand rubles and eleven 1 hundred experience. So click on that. They are probably still intact, even if the office was locked. And then that opens up for uh, gratitude. So this one, we have to get these different items, the ghost, balaclava, the shema, <laughs> shema, 
and uh, the ray bench glasses and round frame glasses. Now, if I had been paying attention, I wouldn't have sold off. I had sunglasses that were filling up my stash. I forgot to hang on to them. Uh, I should have put them in a thick case and just left them there. Uh, but I've sold them, so now I have to go find them again. And then minibus. We have to mark the buses. And in answer to that, we'll get an Anna Tactical Beta 2 Battle Backpack. And so there's three mini buses that need to be marked. And then there's another um, activity here. So it good, part one. Get a ski hat, a pilgrim tourist backpack, two of those. And so I've uh, found those in raid, but also recently lost them. I insured them, but they didn't come back. So that's okay. So this was database part two completion and we did that on the interchange map i want to thank you again for watching this is ectoplasm streaming live on youtube and twitch tv if you check out our youtube channel you see over 350 youtube videos on escape from tarkov thanks again for watching have a great day